Bike Week 2021. But these guys are 10 minutes late. 2.30, actually it's probably closer to three now because I think we're slagging a little bit. All right, so final prep for the trip. I know what you guys are thinking, what's this thing sticking off the back of your cholo? This is the Advan Black Razor Tour Pack. Advan Black is known to be the company that color matches Harley original factory colors. I can stuff about five days worth of clothes in this thing. The inside is gorgeous. It's great for me because I take a lot of long trips. It's perfect because it keeps the weight off your back and off your rear fender. All right, finally these guys showed up. First stop, we got Sam now. We also got Baranski, Travis, Ryan. Well, we got our first problem with Sam's bike, breaking up under load. We're gonna try to pull the spark plugs and just take a look. Maybe it'll give us an obvious sign. Maybe it's just a quick fix, we hope. Slightly lean. Oh, I found some wires touching and making sparks. So hopefully that fixes the problem. All right, so we finally made it to Maryland after, uh, we are. I think I'm gonna need a bacchiotomy. And yeah, Baranski showed off with a victory. Yeah. And he he thinks it's faster than our bikes. He's probably right. And so it became the five of us riding south, no GPS, just south. Bench made. Ugh, what a nightmare. And it's 1 a.m. and we're all really tired. Like, we should not be riding, but we got 92 miles left to go. So after a grueling 24 hours of a ride, we finally arrived at 3 a.m. Now you might say, well, why did it take you 24 hours to get there? It's only 700 miles. Well. It's easy to do more miles when you're alone or with one person. The more people you add, the more breaks. We finally arrived. Sam, what time is it? 3.15? 3.15. Yeah, so we've been literally riding for an entire day. We're all exhausted. We're going right to sleep. The room is really sick though. And it's a washer and dryer in a hotel room. I've never seen that before. I think it's really cool. Kitchen, we got a Sam. I love riding. All right, we just woke up. Well, about an hour ago. Clean the bikes up a little bit. Almost woke up two hours ago. <laughs> now we're gonna hit some breakfast at what, Waffle House? Waffle House! All right, so we are at the Suck Bang Blow in Urell's Inlet, South Carolina. Okay. Here we have a burnout pit. So yeah, that first night, I mean, we hit a wall. Like everybody at the same time, we were at the bar having some beers and we were like, yeah, let's just run back to the house, like grab some sweatshirts. We never went back. We were all in bed by like 9.30 on Saturday night. All right, Sam's pounding a rain right before breakfast. 300 millions. <laughs> so Sunday morning we have breakfast, we realize that Sam's handlebars have like a crazy amount of movement, more so than before. One of the bolts came out that's holding up his entire uh, handlebar system, so. Oh my God. 
So I think it was Sam and Travis that went out to get a couple tools to try to fix this thing. And actually, I'm having a problem here. It's not tightening. Uh, Sam ended up making it work. He's a professional mechanic, so he's used to this kind of stuff. So he made it work. Back on the road. The front end was doing like a little shimmy, weird stuff around turns, so. But it was actually Ryan that felt like free spinning my axle nut cover. And then I was like, yo, what the heck? And then as I was trying to put it back, I noticed that this was spinning. I'm like, oh, that's, that's great. So, that's it. <laughs> what? What? Vice grips. I haven't really looked at myself in the mirror yet, but apparently my neck is like black. Burnout. So the whole burnout pit, and like being there and trying to film it. So people were like, oh my God, what happened to your face? It was just black crap all, it was like basically just atomized rubber that once you touch it, it just smears. Ryan actually found out that if you get dish soap and just like, I mean, it's in your ears, it's in your nose, it's it's everywhere, it's behind your ears. It was all over my, I had it on my neck for like three days after that. All right, good morning, morning. It is Monday morning. About to do, well, we're sort of getting ready. I think this is like our last nice day of the whole trip, but. No. I'm gonna try to make the best of it. I know, I know, I know. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Weather's not looking great. Inside the back and forth, between the emptiness, is the place I long to be. Another shot at destiny. Inside the back and forth, between the emptiness. I swear, I spoke some bones. Spoke some bones. Tons of bikes here. This place is just, it's mad chill. We were just talking about how chill it is. Temperature is nice. It's a cool scene, right? Well, it's time to pop in. Now when the crowd is loving it. Okay, the leaving the bar clutch drag, as I like to call it. So basically, picture this. You're leaving a bar, you're pulling out of the parking lot, right? So you're just standing, you're, you're stopped at the road, ready to pull out. You rev up the engine a couple times, just like get it, get it alive. Then let the clutch out ever so slightly while maintaining like a 2,000, 2,500 RPM. Um, this will get heads to turn. Right, because there's load on the engine, so now the engine's loud, um, and you're dragging clutch. Now, just a little clutch, because you don't want to get too much speed too quickly. Then once you get to like 10 miles an hour, then you continue to hold the clutch just the way it was, while giving it more gas. It's not full throttle, more gas, uh, to get it up to like 4,500. Now people are like, damn! And then once your speed matches your RPM, you let the clutch fully out, and just hammer it. On with the video.
two-lane road right there. He's like, no, just fucking go across the grass. I got you. Yeah, it's all good. Like, yeah, don't worry. It was only in front of two state troopers. Uh, I think it was like four. Do you recall not long ago we on the sidewalk in the sand, remember? It's all good. Don't worry, I can handle it. I'll get home on my own. Alright, it's a Tuesday morning. Uh, we're down one guy, Bransky left for Virginia Beach. So the rest of us are going out to get breakfast at this dope little joint on 17. Got a sick shirt, Sam. Oh, so there's this little thing called the cyber attack on the gas pipeline. So there was a cyber attack on the gas pipeline. Last year was toilet paper, this year is gas. And gas is hard to find. We were directly affected. I mean, there was like no gas in Myrtle. We were riding. If we happen to see a gas station, we just stop and fill it up. We all have gas right now. I don't know what's taking a gas. We don't know what future us worry about it. Gamble. I mean, like, we're gonna find gas. This is America. <laughs> This is, what, uh, this is what this is what Pet, Pet, Pet Pet's yeah. idea of sunbathing looks like. <laughs> Jeans and t-shirts and sunbathing by the pool. Fantastic. Oh, see, we ended up finding this one place that still had gas. Sorry guys, the men found gas. Yeah. It's only a half mile from the house we found it. And ran into a retired buddy. Uh, who moved down there from work, Mark, and he bought us all a round. It's gonna be a good time. Well, you didn't buy a round. I said, I you love I'm waiting for you to buy a round. Yeah, oh, I wouldn't buy every cool. round. Good to see it. It's good, good to see you, buddy. Know. Used to break my balls getting on a truck. Hold up. I never busted his balls. Wednesday morning. We knew all week that Wednesday was gonna be the crappiest day. Basically, there really wasn't much to do on Wednesday. We got almost no footage. You know, we went to Walmart to go get some stuff for the next day. We were leaving the next day. Walmart to go check out some rain gear and just clothes to prepare for tomorrow's 700 mile trip up to New York. So, and oh, the crappiest part about Wednesday was that, I, I believe it was at the Beaver Bar they were supposed to have the biker build contest. Um, I was gonna enter my bike, but because of the rain, they pushed it back to, I think, Friday. And I saw the grand champion, congratulations if you're watching this. It was actually another Cholo. I believe it was a Dirty Tail that won, which I would have liked to have had, you know, I would have liked to compete against him, uh, maybe next year, so we'll see. And I can't feel no more. Day seven of the trip, it is 4 a.m. So Thursday morning comes. We're supposed to leave at 4 a.m. I wake up at 3.15, trying to get Sam up. Sam just didn't want to get up. But uh, we got him up. Heading back to New York. Did I mention it was 40 degrees that morning? The Carolinas have this weird cold snap going on right now where it's literally just a weird bubble that's sitting on top of the Carolinas. Put on like every piece of clothing that we have, knowing we got 700 miles home. So we're fighting the cold. We're fighting the fact that there's no gas anywhere for the first 300 miles, 400 miles, basically until you get out of like Virginia. It was so cold. All right, so we're in Fayetteville, North Carolina. 
Uh, we were told that this gas station had gas, but they don't. We we're kind of on the verge of freaking out. I mean, I still have a quarter tank, but Travis and Sam don't. They have a little less than that. Um, it's getting kind of hairy. Finding gas was not too much of a problem, but enough of a problem where it was annoying. All right, so we did find gas at a shell in uh, the middle of North Carolina, and they don't have 93, they don't even have 89, they just have 87. All our bikes run on 90 plus. So, I mean, Sam's mechanic he said it'll be all right. All right, so we just filled up literally 10 minutes ago. We just took a leak here at the gas station. All the pumps are out. So we just sucked the bottom of the tank. So I'm leading the pack and these guys, they, they all put a cap on the miles per hour that we're gonna go. They're like, all right, no more than 70. I like to do like 82 because I like to get to where I'm going. We're about 450 miles in. It's starting to get rough. So once we hit Jersey, there was like this positive vibe going. Sam ended up having this problem with um, his his hand control. I think it was his right side hand controls. Uh, it just came loose. Like, yeah, we gotta pull over. Apparently Sam's shifter is coming loose. Breakdown. I don't know what you need. What, your hand? Yeah, this whole thing came loose. Oh. I was like fucking, I floored it so hard, I really moved. Eh. That's good, because I wanted to, I wanted to break anyway. <laughs> but he ended up fixing it right there on the road. All good. When we got home at 11, it was 19 hours to get home. Yeah, it was a long time. Definitely a sick trip. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.